Today I'm going to show you how to create a precise mask inside Lightroom. Hi, my name is Klaus Hermann and you can find me on farbspielphoto.com where I show you how to create and craft better photos. Now in this tutorial I'm going to show you a little trick that allows you to create a very precise mask inside Lightroom. If you've been using Lightroom for some time, you probably know the adjustment brush. If you go into the develop module here in Lightroom, you see this little toolbar just beneath the histogram and the rightmost tool that you see here is the adjustment brush. And I'm going to use this tool to um, add an adjustment to the balustrade of this building. Now if we move in a little bit closer, you can see that we have a nice edge to this area here which nicely separates this balustrade from the rest of the building so in theory i could use the adjustment brush with a feature called auto mask to mask only this area and let lightroom um, select only the pixels of this balustrade let's try and use this tool to do this in this very image here so i'm going to click on the adjustment brush the first thing you see is the panel that pops up with all the sliders that allow you to uh, apply adjustments to the area that you're uh, selecting. And down here you see the brush panel where you can set the size, the feather, feather, so how soft or hard your brush is, the flow value, and you see this auto mask checkbox here. And usually I would just check this box and then go into the image now, before I do, let me check this show selected mask overlay so that you actually see where Lightroom is uh, creating the mask. And I would just brush along the edge of this area here to select only the inside. Now you see that Lightroom, if you check the auto mask box, um, samples the, the pixels that are just beneath the, uh, the crosshair that you see in the middle of the brush and it tries to select pixels that are similar in tone and color to those sampled pixels. Now you can already see that Lightroom has kind of a problem to do this here because we don't have a very homogeneous element which is composed of very similar pixels but we have differences in tones and colors in this weathered balustrade here. So Lightroom has a hard time selecting just the right pixels in this case. Now we're going to take a slightly different approach to get around this problem. Let me just reset the image to get rid of the, the mask here. And um, before we do so, we're, we'll have to prepare the image a little bit. Um, and the, the main reason for this is that um, in this case, I have used a, an ultra wide angle lens to shoot the image. And you can see when you look very closely that we have this green fringe just around the area where the balustrade is in the image. And that's chromatic aberration, which comes from the lens. It's actually a failure of the lens to focus all the colors on the same spot on your sensor. And that creates those color fringes. And that can give the auto mask feature that we are um, still going to be using. It's going to give that feature a hard time picking the right pixels because you introduce artificial colors there and that's exactly what Lightroom looks at, the colors uh, of the pixels. So in order to correct this I'm just going to go down to the lens corrections tab here and I'm going to click remove chromatic aberration and you can see that the uh, color fringes is now completely gone. Um, Lightroom has removed it and we can now go on with the um, masking task that we have in front of us. So to do the masking we're going to go and uh, proceed in two different stages or two different passes. In the first pass I'm going to create a very rough selection of the area and I'm going to de deliberately brush beyond the limits of the, of the area that I'm trying to mask. And in the second uh, pass I'm going to use the eraser brush with the auto mask feature enabled in order to get rid of the areas outside the balustrade. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this right now. I'm going to um, zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to 
disable the auto mask feature and I'm going to set the size of the brush to a to a radius that is uh, just about matching the, the, the size of the details that I'm trying to mask in this very example here, which is about 10 in this case. And I'm going to set the feather value to around 50, which gives me a nice soft edge to the brush. And I'm going to leave the auto mask feature turned off. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to brush along the edges and essentially I'm trying to keep the inner circle of the brush cursor that you see here inside or, or just at the edge of the balustrade. So I'm deliberately brushing um, outside the area. And what I'm trying to achieve here is to get um, to cover the entire balustrade with the mask so that everything is masked, everything is covered with this red overlay that you see here. Let me just go, go back here and complete the mask down here. And again, I'm brushing so that the mask is extending just outside the balustrade. Next, I'm going to uh, zoom out just a little bit and I'm going to fill the inside here so that it's completely red, so that it's completely selected for the adjustments that we are going to um, add in a few moments. Okay, so what we have right now is we have a selection or a mass that is slightly bigger than the area that we actually want to select. It extends slightly outside those, those boundaries, but we have a very clean complete mask which covers the entire area and has no artifacts as we've seen before when I used the auto uh, mask feature um, in a straightforward way. So that was the first pass. And usually I would now go ahead and uh, select the rest of the balustrade, but I'm not going to bore you here. Uh, it's going to be essentially the same thing over and over again. So let me proceed to pass two and let me just zoom in again here and pass two in pass two, now we're going to use the eraser tool. Um, so I'm going to pick the eraser and now I'm going to enable the auto mask feature um, for this pass. I'm going to set the size again to about a radius of 10 and I'm going to pick a soft edge with a feather of 50. And now it's time to clean up those edges from the outside because we want to get rid of the excess uh, area that we've masked and to do so I'm just going to use the eraser brush here and gently brush away those areas outside the balustrade. And what that does is it now samples the pixels outside that area, which is much more homogeneous than the inside. And it stops at the balustrade because those pixels are far different than the pixels of the rest of the building. I'm going to do the same at the bottom here. And now we have a very nice and clean edge to this area. As a final step, you can now go ahead and try to clean up the edge some more because we still got some areas here where we have the mask in an area where we don't actually want to have it. So the, the pixels outside the balustrade they're very similar to, to the pixels inside, so that's why um, we didn't actually re we, we weren't actually able to remove those parts with the eraser right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the auto mask feature. I'm going to reduce the size of the eraser, and I'm going to reduce the feather radius to zero. And now I'm just going to gently brush on those areas here to remove those artifacts which are ranging outside the balustrade. Okay, so whether you do this or not depends on the type of the image and your level of perfectionism actually, but that's kind of the, the, manual, um, the manual way to trim the edges of your selected area. So now that we've completed the mask, we can actually go ahead and create the adjustments that we want to apply to this area. To do so, I'm just going to tick off this show selected mask overlay so that the, the red overlay is, is, is gone now. 
And I'm now going, proceeding to the second stage where I'm actually applying the adjustments. So as you see, when I'm masking something, when I'm using the adjustment brush in Lightroom, I'm usually concentrating on creating the mask first and then I'm adding the adjustments. Now let's go ahead and do this right now. And for this image, I'm going to raise the exposure just a little bit. I'm going to open up the shadows slightly. I'm going to add some clarity to add some details back. And then I'm warming up the tones here just a little bit. And that's it. I've just added the adjustments to the area that we've uh, masked with our two-phase approach previously. In this video, I've shown you a simple method for creating a very precise mask inside Lightroom. We've done this in two stages. First, we've created a mask that covered the entire area and was actually extending a little bit beyond the, the boundaries of that area. And then the second stage or the second pass, we've been using the eraser with the auto mask turned on in order to get rid of the parts that have been masked outside the area. And that gave us a very clean and very precise mask. If you want more tutorials like this, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for our newsletter and you will get the latest and greatest Lightroom, Photoshop and photography tutorials straight into your inbox. That's all for today. Bye bye and see you next time.